Good morning, Maria. And here we have Warren Buffett. He is about to go into his board meeting. We have him here on Fox Business, and we're thrilled to have you because it, really, when you look at what businesses are doing these days, they're in, in the mode where they don't want to talk to shareholders. <laughs> you had, what, north of 40,000 shareholders come to Omaha this weekend? Yeah, well north. <laughs> Does that amaze you, surprise you? 53 countries, and they have a good time. I mean, when they're, they're smiling when they get here, and they're smiling when they leave. You give them a show. I mean, you have live steers walking down the street. You have University of Nebraska cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has become quite a show. You walk the floor, charge around. It's, it's kind of amazing to people. Uh, it, and yet the number one thing they want to hear is what's going on in your mind about investing and finance. You have, what, just above $60 billion in cash on the books at Berkshire. That's right. I'm not going to ask you what you're going to buy because you wouldn't tell me. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> if something were big enough, Warren, would you borrow money to buy it? We'd borrow some money, sure. Uh, we wouldn't. We wouldn't take on excessive leverage. But, but if we had something that that uh, uh, costs us all the cash, uh, well, we'll we'll always keep at least twenty billion dollars mm -hmm. in cash under any circumstances. And if we were getting down close to that level, and we and we could borrow a modest amount more to complete a deal, the, a big deal, we do it in a heartbeat. Well, if rates are so unbelievably low. You didn't predict that. No, I, I, and, and I wouldn't have predicted they would have continued like this, and I certainly wouldn't have predicted that, that uh, uh, Poland would be issuing a bond with a negative yield. Mm -hmm. Would you have predicted, though, that you would get some very tough questions at this meeting? Your questions about accusations regarding Clayton Holmes and their alleged predatory lending. Uh, you have said that, that you stand by Clayton, that there's nothing bad about what they do. But, Warren, is there anything you will change at Clayton about how Clayton does business going forward from this point? No. Our, our, I've looked at the, I've looked at the, uh, the way uh, our lender board is handled in every retail place. I've looked at our less than one-page declaration that says, check all these other lenders and we'll send your application into any of them. Uh, We've got 300,000 loans on the books in the last three years. Any letter written to me at headquarters gets to me. I have not received one complaint. So, so you're completely happy. You, you 100%. put. But Berkshire doesn't like these kinds of accusations. If you have 300,000 people with mortgages and some people lose their homes, I don't blame them for being unhappy. I mean, some people are going to lose their homes when they. Uh, when they borrow money to buy. We have this, this ketchup and mustard, Heinz. You partnered with 3G Capital to, to buy Heinz. Here comes Kraft. You're doing the same thing. You had gotten rid of your Kraft share several years ago. You yeah. were unhappy with the company. Now you're buying it? I, I did not like uh, what they did when they bought Cadbury. And, and uh, I think our people are going to do a terrific job, the Heinz people, uh, in running Kraft. Kraft had, the reason I owned it was they had great brands. I, I, I liked the business. I didn't like the acquisition. How do you feel about the shares of McDonald's? Well, I, uh, McDonald's, it's very interesting. This morning, I, I understand that they're going to get rid of a, a lot of company-owned mm -hmm. stores and, and shift those to franchisees. And uh, actually, that's what Burger King did here when the 3G took it over a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And we did it on a very small scale at Dairy Queen. Mm -hmm. Warren, we have so much more to talk to you about, and the great news is for our viewers, they can head off to work and tune to Fox Business at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a special on Fox Business tonight. Set the DVR. It's your all-access pass. Warren Buffett's America. We're going to take you behind the scenes, Maria, to every single aspect of what's going on at this meeting, unlike anything else on the 50th anniversary of a company that started where the shares were $11 and change. And today, I think they're hovering around 215000 Warren Buffett and his team have created hundreds and hundreds of multimillionaires and a few billionaires, too. So you've got to watch and see how he did it, but also what's on his mind through all of this. Thank you, Warren. Okay, thank you.